Can you program these transformation matrices in Python? In the last two videos, I walked through the transformation matrices and homogeneous coordinates. So in this video, a quiz for you to get your hand dirty. So these are two matrices you need to solve using Blender Python API. The first one is this translation matrix, and the second one is this rotation matrix. The link of this code is attached in the description of this video. Now let me walk you through all the section of the code. As you can see, there are four regions. The first part, I don't think you need to edit. These are just all the utility and helper function. The second part is the matrices that you need to implement. In the last two sections, five tests for you to check whether your code is correct or not. So there are five cases. Each pair is one actual and one expected. The actual will use the function you implement the expected case will use the original Blender function. You can comment or uncomment all the test cases. After you finish all the code, you can select all and copy, go to the Blender and hit the script, add new and paste all here and run the script. And as you can see, this is not implemented. So there is an assertion error. The objective for you is that to make sure there is no assertion error. If you don't like the Blender in-house Python editor, one way is to install the Blender development plugin in VS Code. Okay, before I unveil the answer, please stop this video and think about it and try to implement it. See if you can do that. All right, welcome back. So let's code and finish these translation matrix and rotation matrix together. Okay, so first of all, how does translation work? I would like to recall the homogeneous coordinates. The transformation matrix in 3D is very similar to 2D. It's just a 4x4 matrix. Since we only care about the translation, this path is just an identity matrix. That means we only need to fill in these three values. And the quiz is simplified as moving along an axis then can be seen as index. So the first one is, let's say, translate, that's numpy identity, that's four. So the column index is fixed. So I would say column index is the fourth one. And, and the axis, just the row of the translation on the fourth column. So that's say chance, that's the row is axis and column index, which will be the distance. Okay. And return the translation matrix. This one's easy. I hope you get it. Now let's implement the rotation matrix. Basically, there are two ways. One is using the classic rotate along the axis, like X axis and Y axis and Z axis. Another way is to use the Rodriguez rotation formula, but that's kind of complicated. I'll implement later in this video. Let's take a look at the rotation formula. The commonality between rotation around X and Z axis is highlighted in yellow. These are just the rotation matrix of 2D. There's a little difference in rotation around Y axis. It's simply the transpose of the matrix, which is rotating in the other orientation. I'll go very quickly on explaining why it is, but this is not formal reasoning. If I rotate around the X axis, you can see the right hand row row rotation. So Y, Z is in the sequence. So this rotation. Same thing with the rotate around the Z axis. So the sequence is X and Y. So like, like this, like this. But if I rotate around the Y axis, so it would be something like this. The sequence is Z and X, not X and Z. That's the reason Y axis rotation is different from the other two. Okay, first thing first, let's convert the degree to radian. That would be math. Uh, radians translate or uh, convert the degree to alpha that's radians let's construct a two by two matrix 
that will be mp.array and there will be two by two so that's one and that is two the first one is cosine alpha and the second one is negative sine alpha the third one is sine alpha and the last one is cosine alpha okay first create the 4x4 four four matrix rotation matrix that's identity 4x4 four four. okay I paste the three formulas here so just for reference so let's implement the car part so if axis equals zero that will be the x axis I believe and what can we do about the rotation along the x-axis? So that will be slicing the R 4x4 four four matrix 1 to 3rd and also the columns 1 to 3rd. And that will be totally the same as R 2x2. Two two. Okay? And else if axis equal let's let's implement the z axis first because y axis is a little bit different so that will be axis equal to that's z axis so for z axis so that will be r four by four like first two row and that will be zero two two okay and this first column that will be 0 to 2 as well and that will be 2 by 2 okay and the last one else if axis equal 1 that will be rotate along the y axis that's a little bit different so i would say 2 by 2 um chance pose by two dot chance post okay so the top left for four by four there will be zero and um, zero that's the same as two by two chance post zero okay and for the second one is first row and the third column it will be the two by two transpose the first row and the second column okay and for the third one there will be the third row which means index two and the second of oh, no, the first column there will be zero and there will be two by two transpose the one zero and r four by four the third row and the third column that will be the column the two okay so its corresponding would be one one so i think we done that so return R four by four. Delete this line. Okay, so let's run this script and to see if we can do that. So let's run script and I think it got it, but my profile kind of blocked your way. So I will run again. Run script. As you can see from the last time, all test cases passed, which means we got here and all the five assert cases pass here here okay now let's revise this rotation matrix as in practice we will use the rodriguez rotation formula so let's revise this rotation matrix so let me delete all the things here this video won't prove the formula but we will use it instead i highlight some notations here the input of rodriguez formula is a normal vector and an angle 
The capital I denotes a 3x3 identity matrix. The normal is just the axis you want to rotate around. Here are a few examples. So first thing first, we should also use the radian alpha. Now the math radians converts the degree to radians. And the n is just the normal. So that will be x axis will be the normal or y axis or z axis. Let's create this, this normal first. Let's say normal and let's create a zero vectors. So that will be three rows and one column by one, I think. Okay. So, so zero correspond to x axis, one correspond to y axis, two correspond to z axis. So I think the normal, the axis can be the index of it. So that will be one. This is the normal. And then the identity matrix. So I, there will be numpy then identity. So that three by three matrix. The N, so nothing fancy. Uh, numpy array. So that will be three by three. Nothing to be scared, right? Just implement it. And so first one is zero. So maybe I can rename this one to uh, lowercase n to more close to the formula. So n, that's the z and negative. And then the y, that's this guy. And n2 and 0 and negative normal the first index and negative and 1 and 0 and 0 so I think this is the end okay save it and so let's create the R so it will be 3 by 3 so let me just like this so math dot cosine the first one is alpha and multiply identity matrix that's i plus one minus cosine alpha and multiply n and multiply n dot transpose and plus a bigger part so I, so I change one line and math dot sine alpha multiply d n okay so I think that's it that's kind of ugly I hate python okay just one line no big deal so the return value is 4x4 four four matrix so that will be identity 4 okay and I can crop or slice the top 3x3 three three matrix to use the R3x3 three three. so that would be 4x4 four four, like 0 to 3 and 0 to 3 I think would be R3x3 three three. so and then return R4 by 4 okay I think I got it so run the script okay some warning here uh, okay I think that's I have to add this guy here data type go up here um, it's nothing related to the uh, translation matrix it's just a syntax of numpy so don't worry and just run again, run script. Okay, as you can see, all test cases passed. Okay, that's it. Hope you have fun in coding. Oh, I forgot to show you the, the blender. Okay, let me go back to modeling. I think you can also test it with, with your hand manually. Maybe let's do this guy. Translate negative in X axis and rotate 30 degree. Uh, in Z axis. Okay, so let me tie all these. So this guy, I need to translate 
a negative ten. Okay. One thing you will need to be sure whenever you rotate like this is rotate locally, but in the code we set up rotate on the origin. So I think this is one thing you you need to be careful to ensure you rotate globally. Select the global here, and then the cursor. You select the three D cursor. So it's this guy. Okay. So with this setup, global, and then three D cursor. So make sure the cursor is in the origin. Thirty. Okay. That's it. I think they're kind of identical, right? Here, here, identical. They're the same. Okay, that's it. I hope you like it, and saying goodbye. See ya.